Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to show you a quick tip that you can use when you're recording your drums and you've got a quick turnaround and you've not got time to learn songs. So I do a lot of remote session work, so clients come to me and they send me tunes and I play the drums and send them back. But a lot of the time there's multiple clients with multiple songs and there's usually a one or two day time frame. So that's a lot of songs to learn in a small time frame and it's quite hard to learn them by ear and learn them off by heart. So we can use things like lead sheets and also the thing that I'm going to show you just now. So if you've got your lead sheets in your session, this is a great tool that you can use to reinforce that. And it's almost like you've got a second lead sheet just in case. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on Logic and show you. Okay, so what I've got here is just an example session from Logic. And this is one of the songs that I recorded a wee while back. And so the technique that I use is something that's called a marker. So up here in the top, as you can see, I've got my the track that I've had to mute because it's not my song so I can't just share it with you without permission and above that I've got this kind of guide that's playing through as I play the song it's showing me what's coming up open up fill louder and these are all things that make sense to me so it might be a bit confusing but if you heard the song and you heard the drums it would make sense so how do you actually do this well you just press G which opens up the global tracks and this might not come up as a marker but if you right click you can hide or show marker. It usually comes up with, you know, tempo and stuff. So I've got rid of everything but the marker. So if you've got your marker track, you just press plus whether you want to add a marker and you just type in, you know, start, start of the song. And while you could minimize this by pressing G again, it makes it a little smaller. So I just keep it open. And then if you're playing the song, So as you can see, I go to the quiet part when it says quiet, so that's a nice wee guide. So I always take the extra five, 10 minutes to go through the song in the session and just write out some notes about the song. If there's fills, if there's louder parts, quiet parts, back beats, and it just makes things a lot easier when you're actually recording. See, I've even got a stop here. And you know, it's, it just makes things a lot easier to record. So what you can do is you can just add your own little notes that don't have to make sense to anyone else but you. So I've got some weird ones, I'm pretty sure, you know, stop. Crashes with snare, that only makes sense if you've listened to the song. Got a fill, got a China symbol here. So that's where the China symbol comes in in the song. So if you do get lost in the lead sheet that you've made, you can always glance over and see what section's coming up next. And it means that you don't have to stop a session that's sounding really good. Because I've always been in that situation where I've got a really good take and then I suddenly forget where I am and I didn't have this, this little safety net so I ended up just having to scrap that take, which is annoying. I'd recommend zooming in as well so it doesn't, you know, blur off like this so you can see exactly what's going on in each marker. So I hope you enjoyed that little tip. Until next time, take care. See you later.